Hey guys, welcome to the HL, and in this video I'll be checking out the Realme X50 5G. Okay guys, so this is Realme's new offering, it's X50 and it's 5G enabled. Really interesting time as well because at the moment there's lots of mid-range phones out at the moment and OnePlus have also just recently released their uh, new mid-range as well, the OnePlus Nord as well. It's got a quite similar spec to this, it's actually owned by the same company as well, so BKK Electronics, they own OnePlus, they also own Realme, Oppo and Vivo as well, just to name a few of their, their companies. So the specs are really similar to the OnePlus Nord as well. It is a little bit cheaper than Nord and the specs are very similar. So let's see if this is value for money and if it's a good purchase. Let's check it out. So this is the box that it comes in. So it's the yellow box that over Realme comes in. And this is X50, this is 5G enabled. And on the back there, you got the Android logo as well. So it's, work, it's gonna work on your Google Play Store right out of the box. And then if you just open the box. Okay, so the message, the first message that you see there is says, hey, welcome to the Realme family. So that's like a nice welcome to your phone. And then on the back there, says, let's embrace a new journey. So it's just a nice little message that you get straight out of the box. And then inside of that, you've got your paperwork, but nobody looks at that anyway. And you've got your jelly case. And then you got your phone as well. So we'll just put that to one side, we'll just check that out in a bit. And you've got your card in laser. Well. Actually, you just noticed on the phone there, it's, they've marked out the NFC area. So that's where your NFC chip is. And also your SIM tray as well, SIM 1 and SIM 2. It takes two SIM cards. That's your card inlay. And that's your power brick. And uh, it's got the yellow detail there. Same as same color as the box. Looks pretty cool. And you got your USB-C cable as well. And this, again, it's got the yellow detail there. And your pin jet two as well. So this is the Realme X55 G. And this is the ice silver it also comes in that jungle green as well it's a great looking phone it comes with android 10 out of the box and also it runs real realme ui as well so this one has six gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of memory as well which is not expandable as well so just bear that in mind as well unfortunately it doesn't come with a microphone jack as well and it also doesn't include a dongle either. So if you do want to use a microphone or headphones, then you do need to get yourself a dongle. It has a Snapdragon 765G, which is the same chipset as the OnePlus Nord as well. So it's a great chip, it's super fast. It plays everything smoothly, all apps, scrolling, super smooth. All the games that I throw it, it plays with no hiccups at all. So it also has NFC as well. And it's also got 4,200 milliamp battery as well. So it's got, it's got a massive battery and it should last you for two days. It has a super quick 30 watt dart charge. So that's going to charge your 4,200 milliamp battery from zero to hundred in just 55 minutes. It's got a big 6.57 inch IPS LCD display and it's super bright and super sharp. It's also got a really quick 120 hertz refresh rate as well, which is pretty cool because some flagship phones don't even have 120 hertz. It comes with a screen protector pre-installed already. So it has a screen protector straight out of the box and that with the jelly case, straight away, your phone is ready to use straight out of the box. On the front, we've got a pill shaped double hole punch out for the camera containing a 16 megapixel selfie cam and we also got a two megapixel depth sensor as well. So unlike the Realme 6 Pro, there's actually just one camera on the front. On the back of the phone, we've got four cameras. We've got a 48 megapixel main shooter. We've got a eight megapixel ultra wide lens. We've got a black and white portrait lens. And we've also got a two megapixel macro lens. And we've also got an LED flash as well. 
So on the left side of your phone, you've got your volume rocker. And then on, on the top of the phone, you've got your noise cancelling microphone. On the bottom of your phone, you've got your SIM tray. That takes two SIMs. Just bear in mind, it's you can't expand your memory and it doesn't take any SD card. It's only two SIMs only. You've also got your microphone and your USB-C port as well. It's got a single firing speaker. And on the side as well, you've got your power button that doubles up as your fingerprint scanner as well. So overall, it's a great looking phone. As you can see, it's a shimmers in the light and you've got great cameras on there as well. And here's some pictures and video that I've taken on the phone. So check these out. Okay, so this is the video selfie mode on the Realme 50X 5G. It's behind me, so it's a bit hard to see them just turn around and uh, it looks pretty stable. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of the video quality and the, the color science. For some strange reason, on the front there's a, a dual camera setup, but one camera is not actually a camera, it's actually a depth sensor. So there's only one, one camera that you can record with, and this is the selfie mode on video. So let me know guys down below what do you think. Sometimes. Two times. That's five times. That's one times. So if I zoom into let's see, that's five times. Like you can see when I zoom into like ten times, the picture quality is really bad. You just pr probably make out what it is, but that's 10 times zoom. And when I zoom back out one times, I'm just zoom back in. Oh, uh, well, that's gone. So that's five times, five times there. Then zoom back out to one times. So that's the Realme X50 5G. So overall, I think it's a great phone. There are some things missing from this, like any mid-range phone, like no wireless charging, no AMOLED screen, but you do get a 120 hertz refresh rate on this, so it's super fast. Even the OnePlus Nord only has 90 hertz on that. So this is a great purchase. You are getting a great spec for your phone. There's no dongle in the box of this, so there's no headphone jack on this. So you do want to use like a headphone or, or a microphone on this, you do need to get yourself a little dongle, which is not included in the box with this one. But other than that, it's a, it's a great value phone. I think it's a great phone, it's a great purchase. It has great cameras on it. The phone looks great. It's super fast, it plays everything I throw at it. Charging speeds are fast as well. And I can't really fault it, but for 300 pound, it's, it's a great purchase. Another down I would say on this is that the memory is not expandable as well. But if you do want something similar to this, but you want to expand the memory, then the Realme 6 as well, 6 Pro is also very good as well. I've actually 
reviewed that in my uh, previous videos so you want to check that out uh, look at the links down below and I'll link that video as well it's a very similar phone to this but it does have uh, expendable memory as well again what I noticed as well is usually I do use launchers on my phone I personally use Nova launcher on all my phones and what I noticed is is if you do use Nova Launcher, like the Romy 6 Pro as well, it's the same thing as well. If you're using a launcher, you can't use split screen on this phone. So if you want to use split screen on your phone, you do need to use the, the uh, Realme UI on this. If you want to use a launcher such as Nova Launcher, then you're not, you won't be using split screen because it, it doesn't work. Like this video guys, click on the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click on the subscribe button for me. As always guys, ciao for now.